All right, so the first trial here on Lost in that Delta. Resist much, obey little. Like we have a Cod Arrival uh, 78 hand cannon. And uh, we need to kill 10 armored, avoid any damage, and uh, we need to do all the checkpoints in 3 minutes 20 seconds. So let's uh, go. Switch over to the pistol to start, because there's an armor up there that uh, hopefully is close enough to barely blow up. Come up the ladder here. Bada boom, bada bing. Get the barrel. I'll switch over to the knuckles here for this dude up here. He's at the right spot. Don't touch me. No touch. Only the punch him. Grab this, reload real quick. Switch over to the dynamite for this here dude down there. And I should have been doing the elevator the whole time. But I wasn't. We lost a little time here. Grab this checkpoint. Grab this checkpoint. Grab this checkpoint. Get a couple of them up here. Got two more armors and then just get the checkpoints here. I need one more armor death and then the checkpoint. <coughs> checkpoints, which still got about half of them to get. Took too long there. checkpoints. Depends on how far we gotta go. Oh, they are right on the floor. They are right on the floor. Can I make it? Can I make it? Just made it. Literally like last second. Just made it. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Alright, Gratitude and Treachery. This one, uh, Caldwell Conversion Chain Pistol Pair. So we got another dually one. This could be pretty RNG based. Let's see what happens. I guess we'll read the lore here. The rat was familiar with the sting of betrayal long before she began inflicting it on others. Her first partners disappeared with a bounty, leaving her unconscious and surrounded by armored. The story people tell is that she chewed her way out. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. Let's do it. We need to kill and banish 8 times 15 armored, kill 15 grunts, and avoid damage.
back up. You know, one of the big benefits about the chain toast that I never really hear anyone talk about is the, uh, doesn't have that, like, doesn't have to spin the cylinder after it's, like, if you interrupt the reload animation, you don't have to respin the cylinder. The only revolver, I guess technically this isn't really a revolver. But it is nice. That one down. Where's the next one? Right here. The grunts. Need two more. The armor kills. He is not happy about that door. Interesting that you can like walk up and vanish, you know, something covered in barbed wire, but if it's alive, like when it's dead, but when it's alive, it, uh, it burn all those dudes. Shut that door. That was interesting. Oh boy. Gonna reload here. We're gonna go around this way. Back up, back up. Need to get up in here and banish him. Not the right way. There it is. Boom. Actually, that one was pretty easy. That was a one and done. That was a one and done. GG. So, the mother of taking chances. And this one looks like uh, on hard. We gotta avoid any bleeding damage, kill and banish ten grunts, and kill ten hellhounds. And it looks like we got a crossbow. The mountain man was no stranger to a crossbow or wearing odds, but he was unfamiliar with the horde he faced in the bayou. His gamble paid off, however, and his talents brought him to the attention of a certain family of brothers. So I've already uh, gone through this a little bit here and had to stop. We're going to get through it. You can see I've already beat it on easy. This one's kind of annoying. Well, let's go. <clears throat>
Block off all those areas. Hopefully, there's no barbed wire mines sitting on top of my area. I gotta walk through over there, but. Oh, I just missed that. Last guy way out here. talking that much because trying to concentrate on what I was doing and that is the dumbest trial ever those fucking those hell are stupid it's stupid the only reason it was it was hard is because we have crossbows throwing knives to defend ourselves the the decoys do nothing the decoys do nothing as soon as those dogs are coming at you there's nothing like those decoys do nothing that's a stupid trial it's dumb hell are dumb I hate that trial Oh, we got another one with meatheads here. Oh boy. Oh, we have a Dolch 96 pair. Interesting. Virtue meets brute force. We gotta kill and banish eight meatheads and avoid any kind of damage. Mob battery at the mouth of the Lost River was virtual was a vital strategical point for the night for the night of the hunter to stem the deluge of undead into the Gulf. Although the rest of the party fell, the Night Seer was able to hold it was able to hold it for long enough. To change the tide of the battle. Yeah. Okay. Let's go.
on down. We're just spawning up here now, too, huh? There's gonna be two down. Side of the world. Let me get my melee stamina back here. I was gonna blow that barrel up, but I feel like I want to save it. Three. Get all the little zombies to go over there, maybe. Oh, there's a we got a good spawn there. Right? Another barrel kill, I need three more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Where are you, friend? We're over there. Forty seconds, we should have plenty of time left. Jump up here. Oh, there's a leech. Don't like that it's inside. I don't know what a leech would like to be. Took him two tries. That took poison damage on the first one. Little leech got me. Well, that one's pretty easy, honestly. Got some good barrel spawns. Use the sticky bombs, and then yeah, just uh, the rest of the time, just mill them down with the dolches. Double dolches, you know, make it pretty easy there. Yeah, you get you the spam that can take them out pretty quick. So, not not too bad. From dust to dust. Looks like. Uh, we got a carb eater dead eye sniper mission. Interesting. So we need 
You headshot 20 enemies, no enemies die from fire, and we need to headshot two emulators. Okay. Alrighty. You might not guess it, but flower dust, oxygen, and spark can make a devastating combination. I know that because I watched Goblin Slayer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The steady aim, Marshall Brewer took it took it took it on herself to avert calamity by ridding the area of emulators in a single shot at a time. Alright. Well, this is the only sniper one I haven't wanted done. Um. What? Um. Um. That just a touch too much in that last one. Is there anything else? No, just this. Okay. They like I want to shoot the emulator, but he's just wandering around the main area where they're spawning. like we should just I think get the kills first and then go for them I don't want to those barrels are situated really not moving Well, one of the two that we needed. So let's see if I can clear this area out. And then get another one here. Actually, he's just chilling here. Boom. What? I was for sure another headshot. But alright, we got that. Now it's just... Let's not... Any zombies. Got on fire. I was for sure a headshot over there. Like, I had to headshot him three times. That's interesting. Anyway. Um. Um. There you go. That one's not difficult. <clears throat> it's just getting an emulator or the emulators into a position away from those barrels. Keeping the zombies away from any barrels that go off. But there you have that one. This one is Exalt over Downfall. We need to kill and banish 10 Constantine armor to avoid any kind of damage and headshot 12 grunts. Looks like we got an explosive crossbow and the hint is to wait to target groups. Driven to the brink of insanity by the exertion of his research, Harold Black took the bayou armed to the teeth. Better to obliterate anything for uns anything unsuitable for study. I hope this one doesn't bug out on me like the one in Stillwater did when uh, I killed the 8th Constantine armored on the Stillwater one. It uh, bugged out and the last two didn't spawn. So, plus a go. fire dude Are you 
too. Come on, under the fire. <clears throat> Inside here, this could be dangerous. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Excuse me. All right. Good headshot, two more grunts. Where are you guys at? I'll just sit here and miss. I'll just sit here and miss. That's fine. <clears throat> All right, you're the last two volunteers, huh? One, two. two people. That one's not really difficult. Actually, uh, the grunt spawns seem to be pretty less on that uh, go around than the first couple of them, but yeah, these fire barrels can serve your uh, explosive uh, bolts and use them as you need. Easy. Alright, be jubilant, my feet. Looks like we got one where we gotta run and avoid emulators and kill them, etc. Let's see here, we need to kill eight emulators. Cannot miss any checkpoints, and we need to avoid fire and bleeding damage. Finch took many fixed. Blah, 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 blah. Finch took many chances of scavenger equipment that could help the cause. The arsenal being no exception, Braves were fraught with danger as a single stray spark would blow the place to smithereens. Those no Brez mace, huh? Interesting. And yeah, huge truck bombs. All right, well, let's go. What are you doing, dude? Alright. <clears throat> we got six of the eight that we need to kill here. I'm getting my melee stamina back. Here. 
I got my melee stamina back. I got the emulator kills now. It's just. I do avoid any damage. Dude. I'm gonna back. <clears throat> oh, this is the last checkpoint, actually. So, there we go. Easy. That one was somewhat challenging. It's really just RNG based on where the emulators spawn, where they're gonna move, and if they hit any of the traps. If they hit the traps, you could be screwed. But uh, it's really just about placing the uh, choke bombs at choke points where they're gonna have to go to. And uh, kind of using choke bombs as a shield, so not too bad. Reap the whirlwind. Another one with meatheads. Oh joy! Kill and banish six meatheads, and then we have had we. I can't talk. We have to kill and banish six meatheads, and then headshot five hides. Like we got a bomb lance. Interesting. The most hunters wouldn't recognize her face. The trail of destruction she left in her wake was unmistakable. The massacre at the Brickworks could have been a celebration of her takeover of the AHA or something more sinister. Alright. Alright. Let's uh, go. He's inside. Yeah. Alright. Where are you, dude? I'm hiding a seek here with a new head. Other side of the planet. It's a good thing this isn't one where we need to avoid damage, because that would make this virtually impossible. Look at this. This is so many highs. Like, it is unnecessary to have these many hives spawning at the same time. and you can go away now. <laughs> Alright, let's run through all the hives again. Hi. 
You don't need to have these many hives spawning at once. This is dumb. I have to get lucky with the meat head spawns. And that, that's a negative on that. Yes, sir. Still following me. Go away, poison damage. Come on. Poison! Holy shit! That is an absurd amount of hives that they spawn. That is absurd. Well, that's absurd. Anyway, yeah, that one's just, you know, avoid, avoid the hives. Headshot them however you can and get the meatheads. RNG lucky spawns, blah, blah, blah.